What's up gamers and welcome to my channel for another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video and I hope you're all doing good out there today. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this tanned outfit right here that's going to be completely solo so we're not going to require any of our friends to help us or any special bookmarking of any jobs, no transfer glitch, nothing like that. So we're going to be able to go ahead and make this very clean outfit by using a couple different glitches and the first thing we're going to have to do is go get some tan joggers. Let me show you how to do this step by step on how to make this awesome outfit. First things first is we're going to need to go ahead and pop open our interaction menu and we're going to register as a CEO president. From there, pop open our interaction menu one more time, go into CEO management, and then we're going to go into styles and then a little bit over, we're going to be looking for this right here. I believe it's called the Warlord outfit and those right there, my friends, are tan joggers. So we're going to go ahead and pull those real quick by starting up a survival mission that is called a Legion Square. So go to survivals right here and then go on down to Legion Square. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and start this up while we're wearing the tan jogger outfit. So once we get into the settings, just go ahead and confirm everything. Don't worry about buying ammo or armor or anything like that. We're not actually going to be fighting anybody here. We're just going to be running to the corner store. So immediately, you guys are going to be spawning in the same exact location that I am. So this is what we're going to do right when the survival job starts. Is just start running forward here. So we're going to continuously run forward until we get to the sidewalk. And then we're going to turn right and then start running down the road. So right up around this road, around the corner... There is going to be a store. So just keep running the same way that I do here. And then once we get out of bounds, it will have a, you know, like a thing right there on our screen saying that you're leaving the survival. Don't worry about that. We're going to have plenty enough time to run up here and get around the corner to the store and just stand in front of the store before the actual job kicks us out for leaving the survival perimeter here. So there's the store right there. It's a Binko's, I think. Yep, Binko's. Just stand right in front of the door. Now, you're not going to be able to open the door right now. We're just waiting right here for the job to actually kick us out. All right, cool. We failed the job. Perfect. Now, it's going to automatically kick us out back into a session. Hopefully, that is an invite-only session that you guys are starting this from, just to make it a lot easier, of course. So, once we load in, hurry up, run in the store, and go to the clerk, okay? Okay. So we're going to run, run, run as fast as we can. You can only walk in the store. Go right up to the clerk. Start spamming right on the D-pad. And just wait right here. Just wait. Watch this. Bam. There you go. Tan jogger. So what we're going to do, pop open our interaction menu and deregister as a CEO president. So from here, we're able to get our tan joggers. And then from yeah, at this point, I'm going to need to go ahead and put the rest of the stuff together real quick. And then I'm going to show you the components that I ended up using to make this outfit that once again, completely solo, not going to require any necessarily bookmarking of jobs or any of our friends. So here's the, the rough draft of the outfit so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into skate shoes and we're going to put on these skate shoes right here. Tan skate shoes goes to tan joggers. These are like one of the best shoes that you could be choosing. All right. And then real quick, we're going to go over to the accessories option and we're going to be putting on some gloves here. I'll show you which ones. Those right there. So it's like peach digital armored gloves to go with the outfit. Perfect. And then let's go to the top section real quick. So we got a couple different tops. So one is going to be utility tops, I think. And the other one's going to be utility vests. Hold on. Oh, we're going up too high, I think. Yep, yep, too high. Bring it on back down. There you go, right there. And we chose this one because this is the one that matches the tan joggers the best. We're trying to make this outfit as much color coordinated as possible. And then down here, we're going to go to the vest and we're going to choose the peach plate carrier right there. All right, perfect. Now we're going to go over to the helmets and make sure that we do have a bulletproof helmet because wearing a bulletproof helmet is not just uh, looking cool. It's also considering our safety in, in the game. So right there, we're just going to go ahead and get the tan bulletproof helmet to go with the rest of the outfit. Now, this time, uh, we're going to need to head on over to the mask shop. So one thing that I ended up forgetting is to go over to the glasses just to make sure that we have the right type of glasses here. So real quick, go to the glasses section. We're going to go, is it this section? No, it's not that one. It's going to be this one right here. So just scroll down until we can find, like, basically, it's like a tan colored, you know, goggles. Uh, I think this is them right there. It's like brown colored or something like that. Trying to get the close color. You can go with the gray ones as well because the outfit, I don't know, does have a little bit of a gray aspect, I guess, to it. 
We're going for tan though, so I did use the brown ones. So we're just going to go ahead and grab those because that's going to be part of the next step by going to the mask shop and choosing a mask so we can go do the telescope glitch real quick. All right. When you got the mask shop, just go to the section crime. And then right here, we're going to be getting this t-shirt. So it's like a t-shirt wrapped around your head like a, like a ninja gi or something. That's really cool. All right. So let's go ahead and head on over to a telescope real quick. So the telescope glitch is still working in the game. All you do, just run past the telescope, spam right on the D-pad, and then you should get frozen like this. And then all we're going to have to do is just go ahead and pop open our interaction menu. We're going to go to accessories. Now at this time, the accessories that I'm going to choose are the accessories that I had before. So we're going to be going with the goggles real quick, those uh, goggles. And if you can't see the best necessarily, go ahead and uh, hit your interaction menu or whatever the button is, your touchpad necessarily. It, it would be on PlayStation. Just to go ahead and zoom in. I don't know the button on Xbox. There you go, right there. Now you can see a lot better. So we're going to find those goggles. And then after that, we are going to go ahead and choose the helmet. So that's the goggles, I think. Is that that's it right there? Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Now, now, now that we got that, let's head on down to here to the helmets. Oh, right there. Couple over. Bam. So we're good to go. Now let's walk away. And then the shirt's going to appear. Bam, just like that. So we're able to actually wear a mask, glasses, and a helmet by doing the telescope glitch. So at this time, what we're going to need to do is head on over to an ammunition. Because the very last thing that I decided that we needed for this outfit is a parachute. Parachute is also another safety factor because the fact that you're wearing a parachute and if you jump off a building, uh, it takes it actually less time to deploy it. So we're going to be using this one right here, the... Uh, it's like de uh, tan desert camo or something and then from here let's pop open our interaction menu and let's go to parachutes let's put that on right there so this is a completely solo no transfer no beth glitch no friends helping us no uh, modded jobs or bookmarking of anything crazy like that this is just an outfit that everybody could make in the game all you really need is just the ability of registering as a ceo president just to get the tan joggers from there but from here it looks like a pretty clean outfit for me you guys are gonna have to let me know how i did down in the comment sections below by trying to make this the most easiest modded outfit here in gta by doing this tan outfit stuff right there looks pretty good and something i would definitely rock and uh, i plan on you know going more in depth later on uh, with doing glitches with outfits and stuff like that so you guys are gonna have to let me know down in the comment sections below if you want to see more outfit tutorials here on the channel but from there once again if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe for more content turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on daily grand theft auto 5 online videos until gta 6 gets here which we're pretty excited to be posting videos on that when that does drop but Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. My name is Gravesite, and I will see you in the next one. So, peace.